My name is Arbery Buerta. I'm a GI and laparoscopic surgeon, a consultant surgeon, and I work in London. I'm trained as a general surgeon. I'm now mainly a gastrointestinal surgeon and also an abdominal wall surgeon doing hernias uh, with a strong uh, emphasis on laparoscopic or minimal access surgery. I've been doing this for 20 years, as you can see. So uh, uh, in the beginning I was more general, also did colorectal and other uh, abdominal procedures and therefore have been from the beginning involved when laparoscopic surgery started in this country and I've seen the technological evolution over the years. I like to perform all abdominal operations laparoscopically. My practice has now become um, more upper GI, mainly operating on the stomach uh, and the uh, esophagus, esophagogastric junction. Uh, and also a large part of my practice is uh, hernias, abdominal wall hernias and reconstruction. I prefer 3D now to 2D laparoscopy for all procedures, so if I have a choice I will do 3D for everything. Uh, we have uh, sometimes limited availability and then I have to do procedures in 2D, but that would not be my choice. main benefit from Einstein was a more stable image. The Einstein camera head that we initially got was flat and broad and it was maybe more difficult for the trainee to rotate it or move it and it was simply a stable 3D image and I think that is what sold it to me and, and why I preferred that. I uh, sometimes have five cases on my list and all five are laparoscopic. And what Einstein has helped us here is that we use the same camera system that we switch on in the mornings and uh, the stack stands in a specific place and we use the same stack with the same telescope for all five cases and that has definitely improved the efficiency that it is not a new telescope and a new uh, a stack that we have to get from another theatre. So I think it is, uh, it, it, it has helped the team to get through a, a list of laparoscopic cases in an efficient way. I think the heated tip is definitely good. I think it is an irritation for surgeons to have to clean the lens. And so to have a stable uh, image and I have now done several operations with the Einstein system where I don't take the camera out once where we fix the camera have it heated and do the whole operation of an hour and a half without taking the camera out once and that is very nice well it is definitely so that uh, trainees who have trained with me find understanding the laparoscopic or minimal access anatomy and surgical anatomy is quicker in 3D than in 2D. So I think first of all training curves will be shorter uh, and therefore operations will be done shorter as well. But I also think it is likely to reduce complications. It may uh, make surgeons work longer until they're older because they're comfortable. So there may be a large number of benefits from uh, 3D. I think the depth perception is everything uh, in surgical dissection, uh, particularly if you dissect in more difficult areas, such as in my specialty, dissect in the, uh, in the hiatus, where you have the aorta on one side, the IVC on the other side, the lungs on the other side. So all these organs are close together. So to get a 3D perspective, whether that you have one or two centimeters to the aorta and a centimeter this side. It just increases comfort for the surgeon and I think safety for the patient.
The Einstein 3D system definitely gives me more confidence to undertake complex laparoscopic operations. And uh, I think the, the 3D system increases my confidence that we can deliver a laparoscopic operation safely. It's now no longer just showing that it is possible to do it. We may even say we, it is preferable. Yeah, um, you know, I've been asked by a number of surgeons how I overcome the lack of 30 degree angulation with a B brawn system. Because in upper GI and in pelvic surgery, which is uh, where I operate, almost all operations are done with a 30 degree telescope. And the benefit of the movable telescope is that you could see around corners. But I think this, the see around corners is a unique problem for 2D, where you feel you can't see what's going on and you want to see around the corner. But I somehow find if you have the image in 3D, it's very rare to want to look around the corner because you, the whole image is in 3D. So if I try to think in the two years that I've been using the Einstein system, how many times I've asked the camera to be rotated so that I can get an angulated view, I would say probably twice. And then it simply wasn't a problem. Whereas when you operate in 2D, you are constantly moving the telescope. I think it's to give you an additional angle uh, to compensate for the fact that you have the image in 2D. Well, I think uh, 3D will become more and more important and probably completely replace 2D in time because I was involved in laparoscopic surgery from the beginning when we had small TV screens. It was before high definition, before we had smoke evacuation. So the visualization and the optical display was not very good, but we persevered because we believed it benefited minimal access surgery, benefit the patient. Um, but from the beginning, the big bugbear for surgeons was the 2D that we said we just got used to in open surgery, have big retractors to improve visualization of the operating field. And now we try and do it in 2D, which was very difficult from the beginning, uh, but we persevered. So I think what we've proved over the years, it is possible to do surgery in 2D with our brains being rewired and concentrating extremely hard, but it is not comfortable. So I think 3D adds a comfort to laparoscopic surgery that surgeons will in time probably find they are not prepared or not able to operate without.